Hi, what's up? My name is Luke Klepsch and I was just playing One Way Out by Sonny Boy Williamson, also perhaps made even more popular by the Almond Brothers later on. Uh, but the version of that song that I was just playing was straight off of Sonny Boy Williamson. I was playing an F harp there, happened to be playing a Lee Oscar brand harmonica. I'm going to actually change to a C harp <clears throat> just in case you don't have an F harp and uh, kind of go through this song. And this is kind of a, a great follow up to uh, video number 14 where we worked on the 12 bar blues form um, because this is kind of a great way to uh, work on it. It's like a vamp through the 12 bar blues. Um, important to note uh, that this is not swung. It's not da 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 right. da 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 I talked about that, I think it was in video number six about if you don't if you're not understanding the difference between swung eights and straight eights or um, and this is actually a 16th note feel so it's like one e, uh, one e and a two e and a three e and a four e and a da 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 four e and a one e and a two e and a so our measures are going by one our quarter note is one two three four two two three four that's how the bars are going back, but we're playing a lot of notes in there. Da 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 da. That would be one measure right there, and the lick is played on the harmonica, starting on the two draw, and then on the two blow, and then the one draw. <clears throat> Again on the two draw. This time we articulate it three times, and then um, on the two blow, and I'm going to say tucka, tucka. So the whole lick, and that's, and then the one draw, and that. So that's the whole lick. So I'm going ta 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 ta. Okay, and that's the lick. So that the first two bars. I'm going to play a simplified version. The first two bars would be like this. Okay. Now we're going to go to the four chord, right, in our twelve bar blues, and so we're going to go to the four blow. Then we're gonna do the three draw bent down a half step. Actually, Sonny doesn't even really bend it down. He just he pretty much just leaves it up. But the 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 correct note would be bent down a half step. So um, same exact figure, but it's gonna be four blow, three draw, and three blow. But the same rhythm and everything. Okay, <clears throat> now we're going to go back to the one chord on bar five of the 12 bar blues as we learned in that last video. So back to the two draw again. Now if we were going to do this same pattern, we would, which is not what he does, but just in case you wanted to do it this way for fun, uh, you would be on the, the four draw to the four blow to the three, bend down. You would actually would be technically the correct note again would be bending it down a whole step. So it'd be. Then to the four chord, which is the four blow one. And now back to the one chord, which is the two draw. Okay, so let's play through that <clears throat> one time. Not at too much of a breakneck speed. And again, this is a simplified sort of a version, but let's let's do it like this. This is fun. Ready, go. Okay, cool. <clears throat> so we've got that basic form, and then um, Sonny does a couple little licks in there, a couple things differently. The first one is uh, on beat three of the second bar, he does a little thing to get up to the four chord. So it goes like this. So on um, beats three and four there, he's going from the three draw to the four blow. 
Uh, three draw, four blow. So the rhythm is da 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 da. Okay, and then it goes into the riff on the four blow on the four chord. So let's try that together about that same tempo. Ready, go. Now, on the third beat of the fourth bar, he does another lick, which is the one that we do so often, I call it the quintessential blues lick, is drawing in on the four draw and sliding down. Okay, it's just drawing in on the four, bending it down and sliding it back down to the two, and then we'll be back to the one chord, so it's. Okay, so let's try that, let's try the whole thing that far then, about the same tempo. Okay, now again, two bars before we get to the, I mean two beats before we get to the five chord, another, it's like a little two beat lick that gets us into the next chord change. And in this case, it's gonna be our trill between the four draw and the five draw, starting on the five draw. Okay, five, four, five, four, five, four. That's the lick to get us into it. And then when we're actually, so it's, Okay, and um, um, and I'm um, and again, I'm like we in like in that last video when I was doing the blue scale, and I was saying you do it, you can do it real staccato by kind of saying tut 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 tut. Uh, that's I'm kind of doing a little bit of that articulation to get it to punch a little bit more. And then when he actually is playing the five chord, instead of going, he's going. Um, Okay, so he's going. Uh, sorry, what's he doing? Hang on just a second. Um, uh, I'm sorry, let me remember here. Okay. I will put that one in tab. <laughs> I don't know how to explain that one a little bit, but I'll play it again a couple times. Five, four, five, four, five, four, five, four, five, four, five, five, four, five, five, four. <laughs> okay, and then back to the regular one on the four blow. And then the one. Ending right there on beat three. Okay, so ending a little bit early. Okay, so let's try that whole thing one time. Again, we're gonna stay on the C harp kind of at a slow pace and then we'll pull it up to speed and do it on the F harp one time. So, ready, go. Oh, there's like a break there too, sorry. Okay, and that's the whole thing right there. Okay, let's try it on the F harp now. If you have an F harp, I'm gonna grab an F harp. Um, I think it's a little bit harder to play on the F harp. It, it's a, it, this is the highest harp. Well, they make a high G, but this is the highest normally played harp. Uh, and uh, the mouth movements have to be kind of smaller and stuff when you're dealing with these um, higher harps. Okay. 
Ain't but one way out, woman. Okay, so it goes into the whole song. All right, so that's One Way Out by Sonny Boy Williamson. Also, like I said, done later by the Almond Brothers. And I don't know, if you're a blues musicologist, maybe Sonny was not the first person to do it. I believe it's his tune. Um, it, there is a great album called The Real Folk Blues by Sonny Boy Williamson. A lot of really awesome harp playing. Really would recommend if you're into blues harmonica or if you're just getting into it, that would be an album that would definitely be worth purchasing. I uh, hope that video was helpful to you and have fun and keep playing.